what happens when we change the length of any conductor and area of cross section uh, we will take two problems here first one is here this conductor is having the length l and the area of cross section is a by 2 when we will calculate the resistance we will use r is equals to rho l by a here the length is l so we will use this as it is that is l but the area is a by 2 so i will write here in the denominator part that is a by 2 when we will solve it then we will get rho 2 l by a after this we can rewrite it as i if i will write this 2 here so i can write rho l by a so here the for this conductor 1 the resistance r1 is this one now if i talk about this second conductor which is having the length 3l and the area of cross section is a so i can write r2 is equals to rho l by a rho will remain the same same and the l is 3l and the area is a itself i can rewrite this as 3 is here rho l by a r2 if anybody talks that which one which conductor is having the higher resistance so you can say here the coefficient is 2 means this coefficient is 2 here and the coefficient is 3 here so we can say the resistance will be higher in second conductor because whatever the resistance is original let us take it is 10 ohm so it will become 30 ohm this time and this will become 20 ohm why because whatever the resistance you have in the original it gets multiplied by the number it is having here